doctoral students just like walking around like or, or uh, medical students just like what is going on here but it was fun we got some folks uh in the crowd too pj and i went and visited the aquarium on friday and we actually made a friend that came on down to watch from the stand so obviously you know there's plenty of smash interest around the world and we're gonna get into the action between two very interesting competitors in siski and alda siski going with the dark samus oh nice I think oh. Siski's like become really, really like when he would come to America, would play more Dark Samus than Samus. I feel like Siski was the Dark Samus. Either way, Alan Dis, a very, very strong snake, the best snake uh, in Mexico, I do believe. Um, a player that has so much ex uh, experience at uh, the top level, and of course Siski coming in from Spain, being the best player from Spain. Right. Arguably, Alan Dis is probably underdog. I ain't getting that confirmed back off a grenade. But the last time I got to cast a set where Alan Dis was the underdog, he completely destroyed Zamba at Smash Factory. Oh, oh, he ate the charge shot right in the face. I thought Alan has enough time to react, and there we go. Just no recourse. Sisti evaporating on this is first stock. Snake being a character that relies on that frame one grenade option to win scramble situations, I think tends to struggle uh, because Samus isn't really looking to scramble. She's more looking to find these mid-range interactions, like a mid-charge shot into a tech chase from a grab. These interactions where the grenade explosion won't really punish this key. So you're seeing this mid-range gameplay spacing out forward air, throwing out charge shots. And as soon as you get in the face of Samus, just hitting that up B button is going to be so, so strong versus Snake. So you have to see Alan just setting up literally a minefield and trying to make it so that wherever Siski is deciding to go for that charge or go for um, those mid-range options gets either blown up by a C4 or grenade. You're seeing this matchup very heavily favor Siski so far. Yeah, because Alan just can't hit the set play. He can't even play right now yeah. the way that Siski is smothering him from a distance, from a really safe distance. Nevertheless, able to take an opportunity and go for a ride. Alan just firing right back into Siski, but he might have to take this game one for knowledge the way things have been going, unless he can find a way to get in. There we go. The wall behind did the jab. One, two, three. Try to poke down with grenade tosses, try to make it so Siski is caught up in one of those explosions, and then he can just follow up so expertly. Still not happening. Siski, oh, he ain't caught out for just trying to go for zero one too much, times too many. But these trades, they're starting to favor Allen just a little bit. Yeah. That's exactly what you wanted, Alan. Just you want to set up these situations where either you're getting grenades to blow up both of you and winning those grenade trays, or just finding opportunities where those hitboxes are so Ooh. strong, especially when you're trying to land versus Snake. Samus having a lot of mix-ups, though, and that ledge trap is going to get avoided with a rollback to the ledge, and Siski has control of the Pokeball once again, but drifting a little too far in on that forward air. These scrambles have been slowly leading in the favor of Alan oh. Dis, the up tilt not connected, though. Did you see the perfect drift in by Siski? He knew that Alan Dis was trying to set up for up tilt, wasn't able to get by the grenade, but that's all Snake Mains want when they catch you, like, when they want to sit on your juggle landing, is to land underneath the platform and up tilt you through it, so you kind of went out of the way for that. Still, last stop situation for both players. Alan Dis. Snake taints a lot, so this is still comebackable. Oh, he, he used the Cypher, sacrificed it, but he couldn't have anything to go that way. Nevertheless, going up high. Oh, good coverage from Siski, not finding the speed hitbox. Air dodge from the Cypher is going to give him yeah. a little bit more time on the screen, but Siski covering the landings with the back air. Uh, you're seeing that, I feel like, when you are getting beat in the mid-range a lot, you tend to hold in, just trying to uh, force interaction. And I think you saw Alan Dis going for very aggressive recovery. He got a little too frazzled yeah, there yeah, at the yeah. end. That's why the air dodge didn't happen. It, that's just part of it. Yeah. Because out, because Sisti had done a good enough job punishing Alan Dis, I mean, that, that down smash setup, the two frame, he was probably thinking that, that might be another two frame opportunity in that moment, you know, to the game immediate flashbacks. So Siski just overwhelmed him and then found the winning formula. Let's see what happens between the two in game number two. Also, shout-outs to Paul Cogge in chat. How you doing, bro? <laughs> yeah, also, I'm sure all the Snake players are very... I'm trying, trying to give Alan just the power-up. Yeah, of course. Shout-out to the AK tag as well. Rising up here from Siski, able to get kind of our first neutral win this, this game. No grabs for you if I got grenade on lock. That's what Alan's saying with that interaction. Here, Alan is having a lot more success on this uh, small battle for the parry up tilt. It's going to be good. Um, the grenades are really, really strong at uh, covering the platforms and preventing Siski from jumping out of 
a startup of a charge shot charge. And uh, you're seeing that being a very, very smart tactic. You're seeing these grenades now trying to stuff out missiles. Siski I just, I love, oh, for a second, there's a nice dribble here for Siski. I love that, that Aladis was able to use Nikita the way that, you know, Sakurai probably intended all the eight-year-olds to use it, where it was like directly shooting forward for a minute there yeah. to chase off Siski. Almost made the setup into up tilt. No F tilt there. Siski denying him with a great down tilt explosion. Yeah, I believe the grenade is going to stuff out all the charge shots besides full charge shot. I'm not sure if it stuffs out full charge shot, but a very, very good squad uh, contending uh, with that charge shot. Grenades coming out from Alan. Yeah, but they're most... Trying to find a scramble with dash attack on the They're head. blowing up in his face for the most part, PJ. It's hard for Alan to get Siski caught up in the explosions as well. Yeah. And the way Siski's moving is just flummoxing Alan just in the dash attack, though. There's a chance Alan is trying to set the difference, set the tone, and untouchable! Unreachable for Siski to survive there, Alanis. Golly, to protect right now. That's the C4 into the upper. Siski not watching his toes. Sometimes you land on a C4 and sometimes you pull yourself up. <laughs> I was going to say, AK Alan Dis, unfortunately, not able to uh, live that one a little bit too high percent as uh, the grenade comes back to haunt him. Big charge shot, 30% off of it, and it's great. Leads to Siski evening up the percents relatively good here. More grenades and more more yeah. explosives and hitboxes. They are just throwing out as many explosives as they can. Michael Bay film. What's the explosive budget on it? On a matchup like this? Pretty insane. Uh, it's infinite. <laughs> <laughs> Money is no no matter when it comes to these two tossing bombs. Go up top. Sisti have making it so that Alandis has to like deploy his grenades relatively quickly, can't really like cook them on his own time. But he's trying to catch Siski's movement. There we go, though. Able to bridge the gap. F tilt gonna work. Grenades are out. Yeah, again, let's see if Sisky's gonna make Allen just make any more mistakes here. Sitting out deep, he avoids the nair, but he can't escape the down smash. Option coverage is on lock by Sisky. Here we go, though, PJ. This is dangerous. Big damage for Sis or big damage for Allen this as he sends him off stage with a grenade to follow. A big 30% off that charge shot, though, and that's gonna be Sisky spinning up the percent so much more. You're seeing this a lot where Alan just is on the platform, Siski on the ground. They're both trying to set up their projectiles as these grenades come through and pop Siski up. Alan Dis with the oh. percent lead, the up tilt barely missing. And you almost wonder if Alan just oh, wanted, no. like, like just wanted to dash in up tilt. This is bad, Siski. Oh, he managed to escape the multi hits because this game is programmed badly. <laughs> Actually, oh, bullet right to the face, but no immediate pressure from Siski. This is getting tense right now, PJ. And he last hit could do it! There we go! Alan Dis able to sky him, and the crowd is firmly behind one of TJ's best as he knots us up at one all. Yeah, that um, up tilt. Uh, you know, I feel like when it comes down to those very, very close range. Did he PMLG? Did he PMLG? <laughs> oh, thanks, for, thanks for chiming in and chat with that one. That's a, that's a funny moment. That. that Bad snake! <laughs> <laughs> that, so the way that went. Uh -huh. Despite the fact it's very slow and very mid-rangey, ultimately works in Alan Dis's favor, and it's probably what he's going to have to do. And you have to ask, with, with regards to Siski, like what can Siski do to kind of change tactic? Does he have to run in? We'll find out in game three. Final destination, premier stage for all zoners. I definitely think that this is going to work out a little bit better than the small battlefield. Uh, the grenades were really contending underneath. Um, the platform and allowed Alan this to play around the platforms a lot better than Siski would be able to. So. Yeah, yeah like uh, we, we talk about this all the time, but basically, if you decide to go FD, you're telling your opponent, My advantage stays better than yours, and once I get my neutral win, I'm going to make you pay. Yeah. Basically. So, dropping the bombs here. And you see Alan is doing, he's always going to like kind of uh, uh, wave down to the second <laughs> one in order to space himself. What did you just see there, PK? Uh, the, the Nikita uh, covers the roll into an up air. I mean, Alan just having a pretty good understanding of how to punish Siski going for those resources in the corner. Uh, um, Samus players usually can get away with just charging a charge shot or throwing out a missile, but Alan this is going to be very, very good oh. at putting hitboxes out. No tech chase dash attack. The four tilt sends Siski back off stage. The grenades are coming through and a big let's trap opportunity, but getting hit by his own grenade. What was he cooking there? A <laughs> <grenade>. <laughs> his, his own demise for a brief moment there. Alan uh, Al is doing a good job. Oh my god. That was incredible. Yeah, There's no escape for for uh, Siski off the ledge from that one. Nair from ledge to try to convert to downer, but instead getting slapped down by Siski Nair. Siski trying to charge the bola. Ah, bad trade for Siski. Able to hold his defenses, and oh, he tried to guess right with the up smash. Didn't quite work out. Stuck at ledge. 
trying to press the issue right now. Oh, and there's one big charge shot to the gullet. Yeah, now you're in that uh, range where you're looking to get a little bit more percent into an up throw or just find a stray area. <laughs> uh, Alan Dis avoiding that charge shot, like, well, his life did depend on it. Yeah, um, it did. <laughs> 166%, you know the vibes. <laughs> we're here, we're chilling. It's like a snowball fight. Yeah. <laughs> I just love the full hop grenade it, It's toss. a snowball fight, but it's like three little kids with small snowballs and one teenager making really big ones. <laughs> it's like just like who can win the war of attrition? And it looks like so far the three little kids are beating the, the teenager because, I mean, having so many projectiles with the grenade is going to be very, very good at swatting yeah. them out. Speaking of swatting them out, that, Sisky that Sisky stock was a teenage dream for Siski able to even knot it up at two stocks apiece. But big deficit here for the Spanish Samus. Can he get back to ledge? Can he chart a path? Look at the, all the dodging and weaving Siski had to do to get out of it and immediately striking out at Alanis. Gets the toss back to Alanis, unfortunately, grabbing it and being his own oh. demise. Siski trying to line up a down air. Fast falls a little bit too early. The situations like that are so scary, especially. Because he needs so rising down air in that spot yeah. there. He just miscalculated slightly. Again, the stakes are high. It's trying to get the top eight. There are expectations for each player trying to prove what they can do. Excellent up tilt, and there we go. Alan Dis. Firmly control. Oh, oh double grenade. Fair? 60%? What happened? He got Barbarian Slice. Oh. Is what happened, but Sisney fired right back, able to capitalize off of uh, Alan Dis. No grenade. Oh. Going up top, trying to take him off the top for a second here, almost. Uh, this, this is getting intense, PJ. Big minefield for Alan Dis. The grenade explodes. C4 right there for Siski. Has to double jump over it. Lands back on it, though. The C4 hits. 83% on Siski. Alan Dis with the stock lead. Nikita just throws it away. Down tilt. Has to have. Siski now has to land versus Alan Dis. The up tilt misses the normal getup just by a little bit. Back air sends off stage. Not out of it yet is Siski. Alan Dis, though, is going to look to close it out here. Got the, he set the bomb in the perfect spot. It blows up. Fair. It, Beats out the charge shot. That's so big for Alan Dis. Sends Siski off stage again. The air dodge. Siski gaining a path to freedom. Able to keep fighting here. Alan Dis oh. trying to put on the finishing touch. Nikita out. Can Siski survive? Oh. No, he doesn't. Target destroyed. Connect the dots. He found the big dog with that Nikita. <laughs> very, very good stuff from Alan Dis to take on Sissy's counter pick. And got the full two stock, too, off of uh, FD. And this puts Siski in a pickle. I don't know if they pickle a lot in Spain, but it puts them in I'm, <laughs> puts sure, they, I'm sure they pickle something. <laughs> it puts them in a pickle. Like cause, everywhere pickle cause again, like, because of the MDSR rule set, if you really feel like the stage picks are going to tilt it, you might not have to deal with FD, but you might have to deal with another stage that Al does is going to favor game five. That's yeah, because now he can go back to small battle, yeah. which is a, you know, the thing about MDSR. And uh, chat's asking, every set is first to five. It's been first to five from pools all the way on through. First to three, best of five, yeah. Yes. A uh, counter pick to the regular Samus for Siski. Okay, put down. Oh, oh. the four barely connects <laughs> on the timing. Uh, who knew that uh, Samus to low profile that from being light down? <laughs> uh, I know, right? Alan Dis already starting off very aggressively. Uh, Keeping Siski in the corner very successfully. <laughs> a little bit of boxing there, clanking. Yeah, they're just trading gloves there for a moment. Yeah, so far, Aldous has kind of flipped the switch, but able to keep Siski cornered for most of the last two games. Siski trying to test him. The jab one, check the down air. They trade. Oh, no! That grab, very, very ambitious for Siski. One thing that Aldous is actually really good at, especially just matchup check-wise, is that his, his spot dodging is choice. Yeah. And uh, there's nothing more off choice than that. Game blown back up into the Siski Fair, though. Siski charging up. He's got something mean planned for Alandis. If he can get out of this ledge trap. Okay, Alandis, that was a little extra. <laughs> Big ass smash on ledge. Try to just dismantle Siski. But they kicked off the ledge for his own troubles. Bola out. No, even Siski doesn't feel like he can challenge yeah. it, but instead he sat on it. Big charge shot, gonna do the business, do the dirty work for Siski and bring him a stop. Yeah, sorry, a little bit of turbulence here on Final Destination. If you look at it. <laughs> Remind me of the flight into yeah, Mazatlan. Yeah, let's not, let's not twist it anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, overall, I feel like you're seeing Alan this just, uh, the game plan is definitely favoring him on this FD pick. Dash Jack sending Siski off stage once again. The C4 is gonna set up in the corner. On the other side of the stage, you have to be worried about it for Siski. And uh, finally goes for a low recovery with that getup attack, but still stuck on the ledge. It's able to clear the grenade because oh, it gives it a iframe, but nevertheless, 
Alan is doing a really good job just building a very creative wall whenever he's got Siski offstage. Siski just darting through dash attack. Let's see where Alan is going to land. Oh, right into the charge shot path. One more time. Oh, wow. What a whip around uh, pivot grab functionally there for Siski. Shot on shield, Alan this landing back in the corner, pulls some grenades, gives him some time, just waiting for Siski to try to take some space in the center. You see this where Siski oh hitting so God. many buttons, but Alan this stone cold, just staying, walking around, getting the up tilt, finding the kill. Siski potentially on his losers, or his final stock of Delfino Maza. Insane confidence oh from the Tijuas. No, look at that. He, Siski for a moment drifted in, almost got Mollywop by the F smash. But just being cornered here, Alan this he's fight, too. he's answered all these questions about Sisti's gameplay, his options. He might have solved the riddle. He just again charge shot vanishing in a flash when the grenades tossed into it, and Sisti man just backed into a corner. His options just aren't as effective, as, and Alan is playing with so much confidence right now. PJ, Forders coming out trying to catch some landings. Sisky trying to make anything happen. Grenade in hand is going to roll through that hitbox. And the grenade beating out the missile is such a big deal. Up smashes too. This is a big ledge trap opportunity for Alan Dis. Sisky rolling through dash attacks and him off stage. Oh yeah, he's even going to drop the... Oh no! Oh. <laughs> I think the Nikita was actually a bad tell by Apollo Tantis. It gave Sisky a chance to almost like, like a shot pull. This time is charge shot. A downer attempt from Sisky trying to find some more damage. 20% separates the two. They're both looking to find a big opening. That's a big thing for Siski as he gets a downer, but no back air. He needed Aldis to drift into that bad neighborhood. He needed it, but instead going to rise to the occasion, skying, Sis uh, skying Aldis with a nair, and we got ourselves a big game five, PJ. That was that was a big clutch for Siski. I oh, totally. Like, Aldis was playing confidently. He was playing informed. He was setting up so many crazy ledge traps. It almost felt like Sisky couldn't play the way that Alan this grenade deployment was uh, just well spaced and and and, and uh, you know continuing the set play over and over and over again. But he found a way. I'm interested to see where we're, uh, where Alan this is going to be counter picking Sisky. Um, you know now with modified DSR FD, you can't go back to FD, but you can go back to small battlefield. So we could be seeing that. We could be seeing uh, you know, Kalos again. There's a lot of stages that Alan just can go to. And I feel like stages are so important here. Can't tell if that you is going to tell me anything about it. Yeah, I was, I was paying attention for a cue, but yeah. that's all good. Y'all are here for the visual action, so let's lock ourselves into it. Game five. Coming your way. Right back to FD. Oh, wow. Um, Okay, Siski allowing the FD pick. Yeah, maybe he figures, you know, I've gotten the game out here. I can, I can, I can win it. I can beat this man as a game. No double jump for Alan Dis. The back air beats out the Cypher, uh. but air dodges through. Great timing to avoid that edge guard sequence. A jab into downer off the grenade. A big pickup, but a charge shot immediately hits Alan Dis away once again. You know, PJ, if nobody's got snake, Cypher's got snake the way that I defended him. But point blank charge shot. Now this or Siski probably wanted a little bit more space towards let's hit the down smash to threaten effectively. The Nair's on shield. Grenade not quite giving Aldis the chance to play, and there we go. Siski right on the mark. Dash attack gonna do it. It looks like Siski having a little bit more understanding of the way that Alan just is setting up these projectiles. You're seeing his approach is a lot more successful immediately. Yeah, and also Siski's doing, doing a lot more of his landing post uh, uh, post. Uh, bomb too. Yeah. They just shake it up. Look at that. Empty hop grab, trying to get the downers to work. Aldis has to keep adopting shield too because the tempo is favoring Sisti and his uh, options. Not as many chances to do grenade pulls. And Sisti, oh man, look at this. Dominant performance here by the Spaniard. They try and catch Aldis' landing. Oh, yeah, he does. It's just, that's, that's, just, that's hard. You're just thinking, you're thinking it's going to come, you're waiting for it. It's like a horror movie, PJ, when the villain, the monster of the week, strikes. But that is a heroic effort from Alan Dis to get on the scoreboard. 142%, but we've seen snakes and how quickly they can rack up some big damage. Jab sends into a tech chase. Before comes through for Alan oh. Dis, tries to dash attack. But the he doesn't have an answer out. for the charge shots in this game, PJ. And there we go. Crazy setup from Siski. The down smash just so hard for Snake to do much about. 
It's the ah. win condition for Samus. It's either you're dealing with the charge shot or you're dealing with the subsequent hitbox after it. And, uh, so far or grab, been, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, no this is bad, PJ. Tries to, recover with C4, tries to snipe out the Cypher. No, doesn't even need a C4 recovery. Having some time there. Big parry. No forward air, though. The punishes and the scramble situations that were so in Aladdis' favor now not working out. <laughs> Grenade forward smash or forward air gets punished with a forward smash. Aladdis just escaped oh, no. by the tip of his toes. And he managed to get out of the grab. One, two, three. Forcing Sissy to ledge, Sissy charging out deep. Big setup here from, from Aldis, not able to capitalize immediately. Sissy getting center stage. This is tense. Aldis is just fighting for what remains left that he can do here. Grenade tosses out. Oh, right to the, the gut. And Sissy gives them the fair just for added effort. Sky up here. I don't know what Aldis can do at this point. He's a city duck. Oh, the charge shot doesn't come through, though. Great jump away from Alan, just understanding. And he, the next charge shot can just be the end of your double. That was a run of back throw, though. That not, how does he get? Oh, the up disabling the Nikita is going to give one more chance at recovery for Siski. Hits Alan just with a weak charge shot. Another setup, an up smash comes through, and a forward air catches, but the grenade bails him out. Just enough heavy armor on the Cypher to last. Oh, that's oh, my that's dude. Up throw, and Siski victorious over Alan just. Very, very close set, and it came down to that game four where Allen just had a two stock to one lead. Sissy clutches, we go back to FD, and the adaptation was just, just so big. Yeah. And with the crowd chatting for Allen just even in defeat, big crowd favorite, one of the, arguably the best player in Mexico that hasn't been able to travel internationally. Yep. Um, quite the hidden boss. Both great performances at Smash Factor and here at Delfino Maza, but Sissy just, just, just a little bit too clutch for the defender, unfortunately. But, yeah, uh, Siski's had a lot of those sets so far where it's looking like Siski's going to get upset and then comes back game four and then game five closing it out. So if you're going to start talking about game four Siski at this event, because oh, he's been having a lot of those. The uh, lore of, of game four Siski. I like the sound of that. I do too. I just, the other thing is like, Aldis has insanely good clutch timing setups mm -hmm. and Sisky fell for none of them like yeah. none of the like yeah. insane like double grenade barbarian slice fair type stuff yeah just, it just didn't it didn't materialize for mm -hmm. Alan this mm -hmm. it's unfortunate uh also like it's so it's it's very funny that snake the character that's known for having like the get out of jail free card grenade cannot do anything about just being a sitting duck when Sam is halfway across stage charging up charge shot yeah it's and like Okay, cool. I hope he misses. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, we saw a small battlefield where, like, Alan Dis was using grenades to kind of throw them above the platform and blow up where Siski is in the corner. But on FD, you don't have that liberty where now you're on the same horizontal plane and that charge shot is going to be so solid. Like, these little things like that are little optimizations that Siski kept developing throughout the set that led to being, like, I think Alan Dis got hit by more charge shots the last game than, like, yeah. the first three games combined. So it's just, like, such a big difference. And also, like, Samus Fair was just like everywhere. Yeah. 